Hi everyone, I'm Ali. Welcome to 5,000 Years. Today's video is a little bit different, but it's still related to Chinese culture and clothing styles. I found a huge clue in Game of Thrones costume design, and according to Chinese ideology, it could have foreshadowed all of the major characters' fate in the show. If you're wondering why Chinese ideology has anything to do with a fantasy series, I'll explain that in this video. The point is, I haven't seen anybody talking about it before, so I want you guys to be the judge. Let me know what you think after the video. But before we begin, this video will contain major spoilers, not only from season 8, but also from the previous seasons. So if you haven't seen the show, stop right here. Alright, now let's begin. According to the show's costume designer, Michelle Clapton, even though the show itself is a fantasy work, she took inspiration for costume designs from all over the world, including sort of Persian and Inuit and Mongol, Japanese, everything. We can see the Eastern Asian elements reflected in the embroideries, metal armors, and the use of Mandarin colors, which I explained the full history in my previous video before. Check it out here. I've also spotted a horse face skirt design on Marjorie's wedding gown with Tommen, which is influenced by the skirt style from the Ming and Qing dynasties. Check out my video on that skirt here. In particular, there's this distinctive wrap dress style that was said to be, have been inspired by the Japanese kimono. Cersei is more about fashion and styling. It's like a kimono style, but with a slightly medieval cut. Cersei had many of her dresses made in this style with one side folded over another, such as the ones she wore from the early seasons, and five out of the first six black morning dresses were all the same style. This nightgown she wore in season 8 with contrasting trims especially had clear resemblance to the clothing it was inspired by. Cersei's daughter Marcella of course wore the same style as her mother. We've also seen Sansa wearing the same style while being held hostage in King's Landing. Marjorie wore a similar style after becoming the new queen. Melisandre too had several dresses in the same wrap folding style. Even Daenerys had a similar looking dress. However, have you noticed that all of them had the outer layer folded to their left? But if you look at any example of kimonos, it's always, always folded to the right. So why is the direction of the fold such a big deal? For those of you who are not familiar with East Asian history, the Japanese kimono was basically derived from Chinese clothing during the Tang Dynasty. The rule of the outer layer folded to the right also came from China. It is in fact considered to be one of the most prominent features of Chinese clothing. And because of the deep influence of Chinese culture on the neighboring countries, you can see this feature on Korean hanbok, Japanese kimono, and traditional clothes from Vietnam, Mongolia, and Bhutan. The reason why the left is on top of the right is rooted in the Tao school's philosophy. According to the Tao school, the universe is composed of two matters, yin and yang, and humans, as an integral part of nature, also have yin and yang inside the human body. The left side is yang, which represents positive energy and the living. The right side is yin, which represents negative energy and death. The same principle applies to clothes. One should always cover the yin or dark side with the yang or light side, and doing it otherwise indicate the person is dead. In Chinese funerals, the corpses are dressed with the yang side covered by the inside like in Game of Thrones. And in ancient China, any living person wearing their clothes this way will be considered uneducated and barbaric. What's interesting is that all the Game of Thrones costumes were consistently folded to the left. So the question is, could that be intentionally foreshadowing the character's fate? Now the series has ended, let's take a look. Cersei, dead. Marcella, dead. Marjorie, dead. Marjorie's grandma, who didn't wear the dress but all of her outfits were folded to the left, dead. Melisandre, dead. All the court ladies and servants in King's Landing, dead. And Danny too has died, and she was even wearing a coat folded to the left at the time of her death. The only exception is Sansa. I guess she did abandon the style of dress once she escaped from King's Landing and was never seen wearing it ever again, so maybe that's why she's able to escape from this curse. Who knows? So do you think this is just a mistake overlooked by the designer, or could it actually be a hint hidden in the costume design? 
you know, I haven't seen anyone discussing this matter anywhere, so I really want to know what's your thoughts on this. And check out my channel if you're curious about the history of the mandarin collar and the horse face skirt I mentioned earlier. I'll also link them in the description below. I'll be making more videos about traditional Chinese culture and values as well as Chinese fashion and history. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.